Yo, this is a ton of plays, Pokemon Diamond. We are at the Stark Mountain in the northern part of the battle zone. It's time to advance so we can find Buck and see if we can get the Magma Stone before him. We want to have that, that's for sure. So this place involves using a lot of rock smashes and of course strength. Now I might think you got yourself screwed up here, but you can also get the stones down the ledges. Do that. Like that. Let's do it like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Let's grab the free item down here, which is a PP up. Always nice to have PP up. Put the stone away. And then let's move around here and up here. Another item to get, which is a burn heal. Probably always nice to have that as well, never know. Keep the repels going on because Pokemon here are so high level, so I don't even think Roserade can take on much longer. I think they're up to 58 at the highest level, so it's really 57, that's a bit unfortunate, but that's fine. Move this rock like this, but don't move it more. Move it around and grab this item here, which is a full restore. Pretty sweet. Hey, that's a rival, what's he doing here? Damn it! What was that all about? Oh, hey, Sitano. That bug guy wiped us. Oh, man. There's always tough trainers around everywhere. But you know, losing means to have rooms to become tougher. That's why there's a battle tower in the battle zone. Yeah, we don't get an XP in the battle tower, though, dumbass. Oh, well. His problem. Now we're in the big inner cave of the Stark Mountain. You can see Repel is still on, but you see the Pokemon here are so on. A Weezing, level 58. Here's the problem. Even with Max Repel, that doesn't help. Repel only works on Pokemon that are uh, same level, or no, so you say below your level. There's Buck. Hey, it's ton, right? Your zippity little buddy challenged me to a battle earlier. Yeah, I owed him a little dude. Make sure he was taught a lesson. But I don't know if I could beat him again next time. Seriously, you're bound to run into tough trainers wherever you go. Anyway, I found out about this place, but the Pokemon are tough. What do you say we team up and go together? We don't really have a choice here, but yeah, you go together with Buck. You want to go teaming up? I'll keep your Pokemon healthy. Yeah, so what does this mean though? If you want to train up, it's kind of nice to train here. Because now you'll have dual bats. And... Buck's Pokemon will be a Pokemon that's also new in Generation 4, but it was in Generation 3, it's Lidl, Ground and Psychic Pokemon. I don't really be training much with him though, I'll just try to escape. Let's just keep walking around here, break this rock here, the rock smash. Walk up here. Let's go down here. Here, right here. I'm do I'm I am skipping a lot of items here, but that's just because I just want to progress instead. Of now there you see this place you can do rock climb here, it's just a problem. Rock climb can't be used if you have someone with you. Kinda lame, but that's how everything works. Why do I like the volcano so much? I don't really have a good reason for it, but I don't really need one. Okay. Pokemon curse. So high level. Oh, look at this, Magcargo and Graveler. Magcargo is his generation 2 Pokemon. The evolved form of Slugma. And Graveler, of course, the evolved form of Geodude and the pre evolutional form of Golden. I don't want to face either of them, so let's just run away. These one we have to face. Let's go face them. Dragons and Fury Mount is a totally classic setup. Here to howl with my own fist. Howdy, I'm crazy for karate. Oh, I'm crazy for a battle, so let's have a duel battle. It's gonna be Dragon Tamer Drake and Black Belt Jarrett versus me and Buck. Brava and Machamp will be their Pokemon teams. Kind of tough combination. With Claydol and Roserite. Okay, so here one clo I don't can't control Pot uh, Claydol because Claydol is belonging to Buck. 
Hopefully he'll be taking out the Machamp with his Psychic Attacks, because he's a Psychic Ground type. For myself, I think I'll be going Giga Drain on the Brock. Doesn't do a super effective damage because he's Dragon type, but normalized at least through his Ground Dragon type. Claydol with Psychic on Machamp, which is good. That's super effective. I don't know if Claydol has a lot of special attack though. Let's see. He doesn't. Doesn't even take him just below half. We brought with Hyper Beam, but it missed. Good thing for us. Dynamic Punch from Matchup also misses. And that's two moves that have reduced hit chance. Or well, not that much on Hyper Beam, but. Well, it didn't hit anyways. That's good for us. Let's go with Giga Drain again on the Brava. That should take out the Vibrava, and hopefully Claydol will take out the Matchup. Drain the energy from Brava and faint it. Some XP. Next up will be Light Screen instead. Okay. It's kind of nice. Could this increase my light special defense on both my Pokemon? Dynamic Punch on Rose Red. Doesn't do too much. Come with Dynamic Punch that if Dynamic Punch hits, it will confuse the opponent hits. But my ability called Poison Point, so physical attacks can poison the enemy, which just did not match up right now. Next Pokemon will be Dragonair for the Dragon team. Okay, so here I'll just do the same here, I think, as well. You just Toxic Dragonair, that probably would be better. I'm confused now. And Toxic, it lands on Dragonair. This is nice. Because this is badly poison. This is a poison that will take harder and harder. Psychic on Machamp. And that's gonna be it to Machamp. Machamp goes down. And faints. Get some XP. Level 50 Float Cell. Pretty nice. Razor Wind, the new move for Float Cell. Should we learn it though? Return attack for 8 attack power with increased crit rate chance? No thanks. It's even a normal type move, and I don't need a water type. Aqua Tail on Claydol, which will be super effective because Claydol is ground type. Claydol is pretty tanky though, so you won't be going down with some hits. Oh damn it, he has shed skin, that means he won't be getting uh, poisoned much. Well, that's too bad for me. Well, let's hit him with a Pell Dance. We got a Confusion and a Pell Dance. Not to do too much damage. Because it's a Dragon type, so the Dragons have reduced damage taken from Grass Attack. Taylor with a Psychic. Normal damage, it's a step bonus. Not bad. Another Aqua Tail from Dragonair on Taylor. After. It is. Claydo goes down. Fortunately for me. But I'm fine. Let's do Pedal Dance again on the Dragonair. That's enough. And Dragonair goes down. Get some XP on Roserade and Float Cell. Next up will be Seedra. Let's take it out. Sidra versus Rose Red. This should be a good match for us. Got the Pell Dance. Number 3, that means it will be confused now if I don't take it out. Sidra is a water type, pure water type. Pell Dance is enough, and Sidra goes down in a single hit. Pretty nice. That's gonna be Dragon Tamer Drake and Black Belt Jarrett. Losing in the happy occasion. Losing me declared to me, you crazy about Pokemon. Yeah. Too bad for you. Now you can see that my Pokemon are all healed up again. That's the cool thing about having a partner as your Pokemon as your um, mate here. Doesn't matter how much battles, too much faint, too much PP use, you will always be fully healed for every single battle. So if you feel like getting some XP here from wild Pokemon, you should do this. If not, you should just Yeah. Yeah. 
So Rock, we can move with strength. Let's do that. Let's go on Max Chappelle. Just to get some Pokemon. Let's push the Boulder with strength. Push it aside. Yeah, that's how we can do it. Go up this ledge here and you're basically done. Let's start mountains. Is it? There we go. Here's the exit. My instincts tell me the volcano's treasure is just ahead of us. See you around, Zitano. You might be the toughest beside me. Hey! Come back here! <laughs> Check it out, Zitano. This is the Magma Stone, the treasure of Stark Mountain. Since I found it, that makes me the greatest trainer out of everyone. Thanks, you all helped it happen. Ugh. Whoa, wow! <laughs> that was wicked. The volcano was in shock from that. It might be so shocked it will erupt. Nah, that can't happen. See ya, Satano. Say hi to that Zippity trainer buddy. But I wanted a magma stone. He just took it. He followed me. A bastard. Well, our business in Stark Mountain is now done. Let's exit with a escape rope. I didn't want a lot of trainers here. There's a lot of trainers you can find here. There's a lot of items you can find here. But I skipped them just for storage purposes. Because of something else. Now, let's go to the survival area and speak. Because I want to talk with him about the magma stone. Do you think it's fair that he just can just raise him and take the magma stone like that? I personally don't. I think he's a cheater. I need to heal our Pokemon because Buck healed him for us, so they can just go straight out again. Go to his house, which is right here. Speak to his grandpa first. You say the magma stone was found? The legend was true then. If so, the volcanic Pokemon may awaken and cause an eruption. Oh, what kind of Pokemon? Hmm. Got you, Gramps. I'll put the Magma Stone back. That Magma Stone was keeping the Pokemon under, Pokemon under control. It's alright, though. I can go put it back myself. Hold on. We have to go back again? Oh, wow. That is cool. A volcano Pokemon. Hmm. Maybe we should stack up on some items. Let's, let's bring a lot of Ultra Balls for this. Yeah, there's a lot of Ultra Balls. How many revives do we have? Only eight. Well, let's change that to twenty. Extra pals might never used. So let's put some more. We can't afford it, so why not? Okay, so now we have a bit of a dilemma. We have to go back to Stark Mountain AGAIN! We just did it! And now we have to do it again? Ugh. Talk about being a pest. But we have no choice. And there's a Volcano Pokémon in Stark Mountain now that the Magma Tunnel is gone, so let's go back to Stark Mountain. Because of that buck guy. Well, that's fine though. We'll just go we'll climb our way up and go back to where we came from. Kind of repeating itself. I mean, this is the third time we are uh, climbing up and down this mountain. But we have no choice. If you really want to walk in a Pokemon, we have to do it. Let's go and do it. Let's go and surf in the water as well. Just so that we can get ourselves ready for whatever's gonna come. Nope. Oh, this is surfing is so slow. Can't wait for generation five. Well, I don't have that many episodes left either, so we'll be getting there soon, actually. Well, we're off, that's fine. Let's go and bike. There we go. Let's 
rest at grandma's place. I don't think we even need to rest, but let's just do it in case. There you go. Thank you, Grammy. Let us rest a bit before we move on. Yeah, yeah, no, you're concerned for me, but I'm concerned for myself as well. So my concern is that I'm good enough. <laughs> let's go back on the bike. Always active, but... Where is it? Right on. Level 55. It's not active. Okay, let me know what to do. Put on the repel again. Let's see. Oops, I spammed the wrong button. I'm not supposed to pass the glove now. Find out. Let's go like this. We're back in Star Mountain again. Let's just quickly go through. Rock Smash. So now I have to backtrack all the way back to where we came from. I want to get some items first while we're here. Because let's see if we can go this time without Buck. Because remember last time we were when we were earlier today? So that Buck, when he was with us, we were not even allowed to uh, rock climb. You can do that when you're alone. But let's see if we're alone, or maybe he'll come back and say like, Hey, uh, the Pokemon are tough now, so I'm scared and shitting my pants. Let's just go together again, because, you know, you carried my ass last time. Carry me again, please. Yeah, I don't know. I think that'll be a bit weird, but who knows? Perhaps he will be there. Perhaps he will be begging and just... You know, kneeling down and like, please, please, please. I'll sell my soul to you. Just please carry me to victory. Alright, we're still here. What's up? Hey, Satano. Are you still racing your Pokemon? Me? You need to ask? Of course I am. They're my partners. I'm gonna rule at the bell tower with them. I'll prove how strong we become and totally shock the guy there. Basically, we won't be fighting our rival more in, in this game. But if you're playing Pokemon Platinum, though, you can uh, get a rematch with him at Survival Area, where I think it is. And uh, you can and have to battle him so many times, you can even get him to become stronger. Should be cool. Okay, so Buck is not here. Maybe he's back at the room where we found the Magma Stone. Well, we still have some more time in this Let's Play, so let's just walk a bit more. Back to the room where we picked up the magma stone and see if Buck is there. Let's do this one. And camera up from generation 3, fire ground type. Kind of weird combination because that means his four time weakness to uh, water. And waters are the common Pokemon type, so I don't think that's a very good thing to have. Speaking of which, I saw an item on the right side, and since we can't rock that this time, let's go and get it. My cargo, which is a rock and fire type. Also four time weakness to water. This is more tankier than my car than camera up. Since we're alone now, we can use the rock climb, so let's do that and grab the item on the other side of Let's see what it is. Well Pokemon lists, there's so many here. Graveler. Graveler, I don't think I wanna fight you. Max Elixir. That's pretty nifty. Can be very useful if you have a long battle or have to travel somewhere and you maybe you will fight Elite Four and you get in trouble with your PP moves. Max Elixir is really nice because the Max Elixir restores all PP of all moves of one Pokemon. Which is, I would say, really, really nice. Good to have, of course, you can't even buy them, so it's a bit hard to get. Damn, they went up there, crazy. I'll go a bit more. Go. Should have probably used the. Uh, maybe I should use the rare candy on Roserade. Maybe I should do that. Where's the rare, rare candy go? Oh, hold on, it's a medicine. It's a medicine. 
I have two of them, that's nice, because if I do it twice, then Rosa Raid will be 59. And then we can't face Wild Pokemon anymore, because Wild Pokemon the highest level is 58. Smart. Now instead of wrecking this rock and heading, uh, heading left, we can just go this way instead. What's up guys? What's up? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna run past him this time. We still have to go down here though, and we still have to push this rock here, but at least now we don't have any Pokémon that will be bothering us, because Roserade is too high level. Which is a bit cool. Well, we're off. I want to make sure that. We're a bit over time, but just going to finish this rock pushing. Then we'll call this episode, and then just outside the entrance of this game. There we go. Yeah. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Let's see what Buck is up to. He went and got the Magma Stone. He was told by his grandfather that this stone must be put back, because it's there for a reason. Not for a treasure, but it's there to keep control of some Pokémon. A Volcano Pokémon. What can it be? Well, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you ever want to talk about this game, leave a comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get some content updates. And that's gonna be it for now, so... I'll see you guys next time as my story of Pokémon Diamond continues.